Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Luna and I make Animal Crossing videos almost every week. I know, I know it's been a while, but I'm back, I promise. But not only am I back, I'm back with a whole new hairstyle and island. This new island theme will be tropical fairy core and in today's video, we will be transforming my entrance into a magical tropical fairy goodness. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my airport entrance and my resident service are far from each other and I know some people hate it but I personally love it because it gives me more space to decorate in between. Also side note I got a blue airport which I never had before and I'm super excited because most of my items are already pink so I don't even have to bother customizing which saves me so much time. For the entrance I definitely want to add a bridge since I have a lot of space and some waterfalls. I also want to add some staircases to get you to the upper level which I might do in the next video and I'm going to add some coconut trees and finally going to add all of my fairy core items you don't know how happy i am to use these items again i haven't done fairy core in like three years so this is just bringing me so much joy and it's bringing me back to the good old days which speaking of i have almost all of the villagers that i want for this island so far i have audie which fits perfectly with the tropical side diana which i always wanted her but ended up with judy i have melba cookie filbert and of course Marshall which I will always have on every one of my islands because he is like my support baby. The other four I'm going to kick out are Quinn, Marlo, Kid Cat which honestly I want to keep him. He's the Swedish jock and I usually don't like jock personalities but he's so cute. I want him so bad but he doesn't fit my island theme. And lastly I have Sherb which this game just loves giving me Sherb as one of my three move-in villagers. I've got him in every single one of my islands. The three villagers I want to get for this island are June, Cleo, and hopefully Tangy if I find her. The last villager, I have no idea who to pick. But if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. So I'm just working on building the surrounding area. On this side, I'm going to place a staircase and I'm going to place another staircase straight ahead. And then on the right side, I'm going to place the bridge. Also, all of the codes that I use for this video will be listed in the description below. I will be making a video later on with all of the design codes that I use for this island. I'm still experimenting and I will most likely swap out some codes if I'm not using them. I think the best part about restarting an island is design code shopping. I find all of my codes on Pinterest if you're wondering. I did reuse a few designs like the purple flower cliff design just because I really love this design so much and I felt like I needed something here to fill up the space and I feel like this code was just perfect. Also I reused the beware fairy sign for obvious reasons. It is my favorite sign but you will mostly see all new designs like the magical stone path which I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. I'm still trying to find a fairy core green leaf path that also fits a tropical theme. I downloaded one but I wasn't feeling it as much because it was just too bright for me but we'll see. I'll keep looking. Hopefully I'll find one that I love but yeah. I'm really excited to create this island. I have so many ideas in my little head and I just want to create them all. I was actually only going to do fairy core for this island, but I went to Puerto Rico for my birthday and I just fell in love with all of the palm trees I saw everywhere. And it's just a beautiful island that I said to myself, yeah, I'm doing a tropical island. And then I was like, no, I wanna do fairy core. And then I told myself, self, why don't you just mix the two themes? And honestly, it was the best decision that I ever made. The other best decision that I made was having two switches. I do get asked a lot, how do I get all of my items and recipes so fast? And that is because I go to Treasure Islands on Twitter, well, X now, and I save everything on my first switch and then I just trade with myself. Sometimes I'll do the duplication method, which still works, which by the way, was another reason it took me so long to start this island because I had to trade over a thousand items with myself and only being allowed 40 items in my pocket was criminal my poor little thumbs went through it and whenever I was playing a random villager would come up to me and just decide they want to leave so I also had to villager hunt I do have amiibos but somehow I lost 
some of them. Like I had June's Amiibo and I don't know where she went. I was villager hunting for her for hours and I just gave up and let my plot autofill, hoping that I might end up getting June with one of my autofills because that's what they say. If you don't find a villager that you're looking for on the mystery islands, that they're probably in your move-in queue and she wasn't, which I wish we can see who our move-in villagers are so that we don't waste our time hunting for a villager who is already in our move-in queue. You don't even want to know the amount of tickets that I spent. It'll probably hurt your soul. As I'm decorating this area and adding the bridge, I'm going to show you the two cliffs I created as a guide for myself to show me how far I'm going to build. If I don't do this, I will just be here decorating for hours. The first one is next to the bridge and the second one is a little closer to the resident services. Also, I wanted to mention this in case maybe I'm going a little crazy, but something weird that I noticed when I was letting my plot autofill before if you don't fill in the plot within the day the next day they just randomly assigned you a villager but what i noticed was that it took the game two days for it to fill because i was time traveling and when i went to the next day the plot was still open and then when i time traveled to the next day which was the second day it was still open and it wasn't until i time traveled to the third day is when the plot was auto filled so i don't know if the developers changed that or if that was always there because the whole time i've been playing this game they were so quick to give me a villager like no time for hunting at all so i want to know if this has happened to you or if this is something new because if it is it definitely helps giving us two days in between to help our little thumbs recover because i swear my thumbs are starting to look like hitchhiker thumbs from all of the pressing that i've been doing but yeah we are almost done with the build the idea behind this whole entrance was that i wanted it to look like a tropical forest but make it fairy core and i wanted to add all of the different types of trees the only tree that i don't have is the bamboo tree and that is because i forgot to grab some when i was villager hunting and i haven't purchased any turnips yet so i don't even have the bamboo roots but once i get the bamboo i definitely want to do something with it for the next video i'll probably decorate the back of the resident services i want to create a bridge in the back so that when you're flying over to my island you'll have a nice view of everything and i also want to create a pond next to the resident services maybe turn it into some fairy ponds and add some butterflies around it or something i don't know yet i still have to play around with it to see what i can do hopefully one of my villagers that i don't want anymore will ask me to leave so that i can hunt for june again i really want june because i want to place audie and june together and create maybe like a beach cafe or something because they both have a tropical look to them so i want to do something with them together and i really want cleo so bad i found her one time on a villager hunt and i regret taking her ever since i know that i just started this island but i need some help figuring out if i should save my dream address during the cherry blossom season or if i should save it during june i like cherry blossom season because of the hardwood trees turning pink and i also love june because my favorite bushes are in season i was leaning towards the cherry blossom season because i thought it would look cool to have those pink trees with the coconut trees everywhere but then i was also leaning towards june because i love the bushes so i'm not sure Sure what I want to do that's why I'm like I need your help I don't have to decide right now but it does help because then I'll know how to decorate everything if I do decide to do it during cherry blossom season I think the green and pink path that I chose will go well with that season the one that I was saying that was a little bit too bright you can kind of see it in my custom design app under the magic stone path but I'll play around with it to see if I like it or I'll just find something else I ended up adding this pond design here because I'm planning to kind of add a little river next to this now i'm going to go back and finish up the two cliffs for the first one i'm going to keep it simple by adding some bushes a tree and then i'm going to add my favorite fairy core item which is the crescent moon chair i colored it green because i wanted a different variation instead of just pink and purple now i'm just decorating the space in between the two cliffs and i was going to extend the stone path onto here but i felt like it was going to be a little bit too much and overwhelming so instead i added these purple flower cliff design here and I think it looks so much better than trying to extend the stone path and I wanted to add to that tropical core theme by adding this little flamingo now for this cliff I wanted to add a waterfall with a little river just to connect the bridge I filled in the spaces with some greenery and some items that won't block your view when you climb up here oh look at Kit Kat walking around my villagers just love walking around the area that I'm building it's like they insist on being in the way and then here I didn't 
like that the mama bear was blocking your way to get to the vine bench so i decided to push the mama bear back remove the vine bench and add this fossil that i don't know how to pronounce but i like that it looks like a rock while i was adding this mush lamp i was looking at the emperor butterfly and i was thinking to myself i don't like how close it is to the edge so i decided to move it up and rearrange everything i do this a lot when i'm building and with the extra space i ended up adding a little duck here to go with the decoy duck that's in the back and then i just placed everything back to the way it was and i must say it looks a lot better this way and lastly adding these dark fragments and here is how the build ended up looking here is the entrance i love this entrance so much and we have a special appearance from melba i love her she's so so cute and here is how the bridge looks super obsessed with this whole entire area now this is the part that i love the most it just looks so magical and it's all because of that stone path and here's a closer view of the entrance to the residence services thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful let me know by hitting the like button and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing to join our little ac family i love you all so much take care and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.